Well, first of all, the, the context for this bill. Uh, if we're looking at uh, not just the economy of California today, but the economy of California in future years, we know that we need to be uh, producing more college graduates in the state of California uh, to supply that trained and educated workforce uh, that we're going to depend on. Uh, at the rate at which we're going, uh, the gr number of graduates coming out of our UC system, our CSU system, uh, isn't keeping up with what we know we need. Uh, so we stop and look at what's going on. We recognize that 73 percent of students in higher education in California are not in our four-year universities, they're in our community colleges. And of all the students in community college whose goal is to take their core requirements and transfer to a four-year university, only 25 percent actually do. And so we got down to uh, figuring out why is that happening? Why do we have this bottleneck? And it turned out that transferring from a community college to a four-year university is a big moving target today. Uh, depending on which university you're trying to transfer to, you could be facing a different uh, requirement in terms of courses you need to take before you transfer. Uh, or even which courses are transferable to the four-year university. And I just didn't think that was fair uh, for community college students throughout the state. Uh, so this bill, SB 1440, would provide a better alignment, more of a consistency, if you will, for community college students, no matter what community college you're coming from. If you're trying to transfer to any of the CSU campuses, there's one fixed list that's not going to change on you of the, the, the courses you need to to take uh, to be able to transfer to a four-year with an, an, an AA degree in biology, let's say, or an AA degree in English, or an AA degree in engineering. Uh, that list isn't going to change on you from one year to the next. And it's going to be the same list from Cal State University Northridge to Cal State Sacramento or any of the CSU campuses. Uh, so that's, uh, I think, the simplicity of the bill. Uh, by providing that certainty for students, not only are they going to be able to complete those relevant coursework uh, requirements quicker, uh, but we're going to achieve efficiencies in the system, allowing the community college system to serve so many more students and the CSU to serve so many more students. So I think it's great news in this era of rising fees and, and enrollment caps uh, to be able to say, no, we're, we're finding a way to be able to service more students and service them better.